Hi, it was such a beautiful evening. I thought I'd do my devotional on the back patio. And uh, you can hear some of the noises of the evening, see the lights. It's just a gorgeous night. So today I was trying to think of what to do for this devotional and nothing came to mind. I went for a ride and nothing inspired me. And so I sat and read my Bible a little and thought about it and still I had nothing. So with nothing to give you, I will give you nothing tonight. But I'm hoping that by the time I finish, you will appreciate and be grateful for the nothing you have. We're going to start by reading from Romans 5 verses 6 to 8. For while we were still weak at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Wow, this says, it tells us we're weak, it says we're ungodly and sinners, but still God loved us so much, he sent Christ to die for us. You know what, if we have all that, even though we're sinners and weak and ungodly, you know, we can have nothing to prove. He's already loved us, no matter what we've done. So I want to give you that tonight, to know that you have nothing to prove. The next one I want to read is Psalm 103, verses 13 and 14. As a father shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows compassion to those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. This tells us and reminds us that God knows exactly what we're like. He knows we're dust. He knows we're not anything fantastic in ourselves. And he still says he shows compassion to us. He loves us. You know, if that's the case, we don't have to hide anything from him. So besides having nothing to prove, we have nothing to hide. Nothing to worry that God will see. Because he sees it all, and he loves us anyway. So we have nothing to hide. Let's read again, though, another verse from 1 Timothy 6, 6 and 7. But godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, and we cannot take anything out of the world. Well, this one tells us we brought nothing with us and can't take anything with us when we leave. So everything is God's, including us, and our stuff. So if we know that, if we have confidence that everything we have is really God's anyway, we have nothing to lose. We have nothing to lose no matter what happens in this life, even with our finances. As long as we trust in Him, we have nothing to lose. So we have nothing to prove, nothing to hide, nothing to lose. One more nothing. Psalm 27 1. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? And also Psalm 23, 1, one of the most beloved one verse scriptures in the Bible. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. You're probably here figuring it out because in these we find out the Lord is our light and our salvation. Who should we be afraid of? He's the stronghold of our life. Why should we be afraid? He's our shepherd. We do not want, and that means we have nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. I wonder how often we forget these four nothings we are so blessed to have. Nothing to prove, nothing to hide, nothing to lose, nothing to fear. What a difference it can make in our lives to live so freely because of these things. So let's be encouraged during this very challenging time that because we are Christ's people and He is our God, well, we have plenty of nothing. We have nothing to prove. We can just be ourselves. We can just trust that He loves us, even for we're weak. We have nothing to hide. No reason not to pour out our hearts to the Lord. No reason to hold back in confessing and sharing life with Him. We have nothing to lose. We don't have to hold on to and grasp things because God is taking care of us and everything we have is His anyway. We have nothing to lose. 
And surely because he's our shepherd and because of all these other things, we have nothing to fear. We can be encouraged. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for these four things that so many people worry about and carry around all the time trying to prove that they are someone, that they have something. Thank you, Lord, that we have nothing to prove because you love us. Or they, they live so uh, secretly thinking nobody should really see what they're like. That we have the freedom, though, that we have nothing to hide. You know it all, and you still love us. And Lord, I thank you that you've given us things to be stewards of. They're all yours, though, and we just can entrust them to you and, and know that what you give and take away, we're still going to love you. You are blessed because we have nothing to lose. And Lord, because of those things and because you are our good shepherd, our light and our salvation, we have nothing to fear. What wonderful, wonderful things these are, Lord. And I pray that we'll walk as people who have them. Thank you, Lord. In your name, amen. Well, I had nothing for you, so I gave you nothing. I hope you can say thanks for nothing, Sherry. And rejoice in the nothing you have and keep it with you as you live your life every day, remembering that you have nothing to prove, nothing to hide, nothing to lose, and nothing to fear. God bless.